seven tenths into this run. Well, with that, I know it's hard to see, but it is six o'clock on the dot, which means only one thing. It's time for my first one hour. We only have 23 hours of this left. I love a good challenge. Like I really love a good challenge. It's what gets me going. If you see a lot of these videos, like this video. That took 41 minutes and we oh. we chatted a lot. For that video. It's a 42 mile ride that is about 75% gravel with over 5,000 feet of climbing. They all have been challenges. And a few months ago, I came across an Instagram account called the Human Powered Movement. And I was intrigued. Why was I intrigued? Because it was about personal movement human powered movement like you have to do it a few months go by and human powered movement the social account started putting out some challenges and they put out a challenge to run a mile every hour on the hour so you could do a six pack which would be six hours which would be six miles so i decided to sign up for the tw 24 it means that I have to run a mile every hour on the hour for 24 hours. It is 6 p.m. I have just done my first mile. I uh, started at the 6 o'clock dock. My goal for the first 12 hours is to run one mile at the top of the hour and then walk for the rest of the time. I'm going to try to do 10 to 9 minute miles, which means I'll have between 51 minutes and 50 minutes of recovery every hour. I have gotten snacks. So before I start my run, I had to come and uh, get my supplies. And so this is the local uh, bike shop uh, in Kannapolis. Very good guys. So I had to pick up some supplies. And I think I have everything that I will need to be supported for the first 12 hours. Should be a fun one through the night. So you may be wondering, Aaron, how are you going to remember to run on the hour every hour. Well, I have put alarms in here every 58 minutes. So at 6.58, it'll remind me 7.58, 8.58, 9.58, all the way until 6.58 a.m. I have two minutes to get ready for my next one mile run. So it's time to go. in hour number two and one of the things that I use pretty regular in these adventures is Pedialyte. I normally before one of these adventures try to down a bottle or two of this I was doing a study at uh, the research campus here and they recommended that we drink a bottle of this before the workout it was like a 75k cycling uh, where they drew your blood and did a bunch of other stuff and took muscle sample and it was crazy but they recommended that you drink these and ever since then anytime I do like some ridiculous adventure I always grab a bottle of Pedialyte and try to down it uh, I didn't do that before this one and so that's why currently I'm on I think I'm like hour and a half in or something like that and I'm gonna try to get this bottle of Pedialyte down in this hour uh, that's this update off keep moving and report back a little later
Power 3 mile has been completed and I wanted to get to this. Yoo-hoo. Man, I needed that. But I'm gonna drink my Yoo-hoo. Hmm. Uh, that third mile that I just ran, uh, the third hour mile was really fast. Uh, too fast, was feeling really good. The problem with feeling good on any types of these adventures is you feel good, you burn too many matches, and then you're in a deficit. So it's really learning how to kick it back a few notches on these endurance events. It, the whole goal is to finish. Like there's no prize for running the most miles or running the fastest mile. It's literally finishing. I'm just trying to push myself, learn a little bit, and uh, manage a little bit of effort. So, yeah, I enjoy these things. They're not for everybody, I understand. But I learn a lot, and uh, that's the goal, to learn about yourself. Here's a pro tip. Anytime you're doing one of these adventures, look out for a restroom, a port -a john Nothing will end a race quicker than a non-clean hiney. I'll just leave it at that. My alarm just went off and I ran to the park where they're having a movie in my park. This is my family. And so uh, it's time for my butt to get up out of this chair. According to Elsa, what is it that cannot be trusted? Me. A fart. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, <laughs> that would be hilarious. What does Elsa say that can't be trusted? I got here with like five minutes to spare, and so I'll go run a mile and then come back and watch Frozen and eat some food because I'm hungry. Hello. Oh. Status update. Seven tenths into this run. This is uh, beginning of hour four. Mile five. Well, that is the end of that mile. And that totals me for 13 miles. So I also realized that I don't have a headlamp, which is a bummer. So I'm going to walk my butt home. It's only live like a few miles from here and go get a headlamp and then come back. Well, I know it's hard to see, but that says 10.59. That is my alarm telling me that, and that's human powered movement, telling me good job. I got one minute uh, to update you. I finally went home and got a headlamp because I'd forgotten it. So I walked home and uh yeah be a little bit safer now uh can't believe i forgot headlamp pretty important but a little status update i think i'm like seven in 0.7 into this run it's one mile but man it is humid when you're dripping sweat down your elbows but i guess the good sign of that is I'm not dehydrated, so I'll take that. Well, 16.6 uh, .6 in, and I think it's time for a coconut water. Uh, 
Oh, so to update you, because I don't think I updated you earlier, uh, my wife was nice enough to um, bring me dinner. So I got some chicken. Uh, I've already ate uh, most of my corn, but I got macaroni. So I will uh, just nibble on this throughout the night. She brought me a sweatshirt and uh, such a treat, watermelon. We'll uh, just keep moving. Make sure the car's locked. So getting very close to my next alarm to go off. Um, I mentioned earlier about loosening up. My hip, like at the top, is getting really tight. Huh. Speaking of alarm, there it is. 11.58, officially six hours in. And uh, I will, after this run, I will take quite a bit of time to try to stretch and to relax this uh, hip out. Uh, 18.24, got like 50 minutes or 50 seconds left until I got to run. So, Watermelon. Status update. It is hot. Well, let me say this. It's not hot. I'm just sweating. It's a very humid. Uh, so, uh, that is eight full hours in. Uh, that is another mile in the book. And uh, I'm at 20-something. Uh, so, back at the truck. Having some bowel issues and some... Uh, yeah, but we'll get there. I know it's hard to see, but right over there is the first light. I'm on my, uh, I think this is the 11th hour <clears throat> of moving. Haven't updated you in a while. I tried to stay moving through the night, but came, uh, pretty a lot of pain in my hip like a lot of pain so i rested for some of the uh in between which is fine i've ran at every top of the hour on every hour i like a good challenge and running or walking in between the distance 
uh, has probably kept me as loose um, as I am, but it also has added extra stress, extra strain to my body. So my wife makes homemade um, sourdough and homemade banana bread. All right now I'm hungry and it's so good. Cut a big, thick piece. I am tired, like, like I am really tired. So, worked a full day and started the challenge at the end of the work day on Friday. So, yeah. We'll finish it up. Well, they don't all go as planned. My last update, uh, I was eating uh, some banana bread that my wife had made. And unfortunately, shortly after that, my body, uh, yeah, I could not keep calories in uh, or down. And so if you can't keep calories in and down, uh, you cannot get energy. And so shortly after that, I decided to call it quits and um, because I had not eaten properly uh, and just my tongue had, had swollen and it was very uncomfortable to eat anything and I had not eaten in, um, in, in like an hour but I was already in a deficit and uh, then I, yeah it just my stomach just uh, let go and so um, <clears throat> Yeah, the tough part is, um, I think this is my first like DNF um, of something that I didn't finish. I learned a, a massive uh, few lessons. Um, the fortunate part is I had a um, accident on Tuesday before this event uh, where I was mountain biking and hit my pedal. Uh, my pedal hit my uh, the ball of my ankle on my uh, right foot. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this because um, I, I mean I bruised the bone, but my ankle is held up. It hadn't hurt at all. Um, it was a little uh, stiffness in my hip, but as soon as I rested it just for a little bit, it went away, and um, I'm, I'm bummed that it ended this way. So uh, yeah, it's. You can't win them all, and uh, yeah, I bit off a little more than I could chew. So it was a lot of fun, human-powered movement. Thank you uh, for putting this on. Thank you for motivating me, getting me out, doing it, and uh, I will come back to this challenge, and I will conquer it. So adios. Till next time.